Oh, you call it car. Okay, you all know me, and you all know what I do for a living. Whoa, whoa, I've spent whoa, whoa. my whole life travelling the world in search of my favourite animal, the crocodile. Oh, An explosion through their body. Whoa! Look at that! Careful, man. I've met some wonderful people on the way. Come on. We've got a large crocodile, maybe around 12, 13 foot, that I truly believe there is something wrong with this crocodile. We must catch up, take blood samples. We've got the vet here at hand. He's a professional, he knows exactly what he's doing. Around eight teeth in there. And what they do, they can sort of lose teeth, not a problem. They possibly go through 2,000, 3,000 teeth in their lifetime, you know? Two and a half thousand pounds worth of pressure per square inch of his bite. I'm not gonna get bitten by this animal and I don't want any of the keepers to be bitten. I've caught over 50 crocodiles now. The largest was about 16 foot. This is just a taste of what's to come. So we're going to make a start. Is everyone ready? Asking to, sh to show them, show some of the workers how to work with some of the venomous snakes. He'll lock his eyes directly at you. He's looking at peace right now. He knows peace is at the back. <laughs> now this is one of the reasons why I'm about to come up with a new method on capturing crocodiles. I try and teach people that all animals are important. A calmer method that doesn't release such, so much of that lactic acid that can cause them such problems. Most of the time, you don't need to go near the snakes. The poisonous snakes, there's no need to go near them. They, they're self-efficient. There's 22 species of crocodile. And the Nile crocodile, in my eyes, is the most dangerous. And that amazing good. <laughs> the fear of the cobra, he's going to pretend he's going to bite. He's not going to bite, necessarily, because he's one of the oldest species of snakes. And he knows that if he bites a, a something too big that he can't eat, he's going to waste his poison. Deadly animals, like crocodiles and cobras, they don't get enough respect. And maybe that's something to do with our fear of them. Though it's always sad to leave the crocodiles, and my good friends in Uganda. There's always going to be a plus side. I get to come back home and share this amazing adventure with you. Travelling around the world and all of the experience I've gained has now got a use.